What's going on YouTube? Mr. Anderson here and today I'm just going to show you a Google Chrome and IE9 comparison. Um, I'm running Google Chrome here on my Asus monitor and um, IE9 on my laptop monitor. So, um, we'll start off with IE9. Now, IE9 is um, a new browser, obviously. It's still in beta. So please note, this is not the full version. So, um, first of all, let's start off with the um, design here. They cleaned it up a lot, which is very nice. Um, they have, it's just one bar now, which is nice. Um, fully functional uh, search bar here. So, you know, Let's go to Google. See, that's pretty snappy. Uh, HuffingtonPost.com. Okay, I hit the enter button now. And that's pretty quick. And this is a pretty big site. So it had a lot to load. So it loaded it pretty, pretty snap. Pretty snappy. Um, so you can obviously see a huge speed difference from IE8 to IE9. And this is just the beta. So this is very nice. And a cool thing that they added is if, let's say, you're running, here we'll go to, let's say I have Google here, and then you take the tab out, what you can do is you can just take this tab, drag it out, and you have a new window. So that makes it easier when you have a double monitor. I can just bring it over here. But I'm gonna bring it back. That looks so cool on the camera. Okay. Anyway, so then you can just bring it back. Whoops. What did I? Oh, wait. And then you shake it back. Oh, I forgot about that feature with with, with Windows 7. Okay. So anyway, and then if you want to put it back, you just grab the tab. Boom and then you can just slap it back on there so that's a really neat feature so now let's go back to Google Chrome the current version of Google Chrome that I am running is you know what I don't even know let's see here whoops okay so I'm running 6.0.4 72.63 so, I'm running Google Chrome 6, um, so anyway, so this that's what version it is. So, this is my current browser, um, I used, I've been using Firefox for a while, when this came out, um, I was kind of skeptical at first, I was, you know, I don't want to change, but after a while, I guess I just went back, I, you know, I've been switching between Firefox and Chrome, but now I'm just sticking with Chrome. Um, I like this theme here. You can get it off the Google site. So this also has a very nice and simple um, bar. You can tell IE9 got some ideas from it. Um, and you can run extensions, like I have a Huffington Post extension. And um, this is like faster Fox um, from the Firefox, but it's like I think it's like faster Chrome. So. Um, so yeah, sorry if I move this a lot, since it's, since I have a 23 inch screen, I'll be moving a lot. So, let's start with, with some speed. Now, it's really nice. Here's a cool extension. It holds all my bookmarks. So, that's cool. Um, it's really fast. Like here, I'll go to YouTube. Three, two, one, go. Very snappy. Um, I want to go to Facebook. Three, two, one, go. Very fast. Click login. Three, two, one, go. So you get it. It's very fast. So, um, you know, Amazon, go. So it is obviously very fast. Um, Google Chrome has always been known to go fast, and I'm running a couple extensions. So you know, it's still pretty, pretty quick. Um, even with those extensions. So, 
the final verdict is Google Chrome is obviously a bit better than IE9. I mean, IE9 is still in beta, it has room for improvement. Um, a major flaw is add-ons. There doesn't seem to be that many, if at all. I haven't found any. Um, I guess one thing that I really like about Google Chrome is this extension right here with the bookmarks. It's just so convenient. It's so convenient. I mean, make a new tab, this pops up automatically. And you can add more than this. Like if I go to my options, you can have a 9x9. Nine nine. Holy cow. So you can have 81 bookmarks. That's crazy. So, this is just a very. Google Chrome was obviously better, but that's my opinion. Um, so, what do you think is better? Uh, post your opinion in the comment section below and uh, subscribe for more videos. Um, this channel is mostly for technology, video games, computers, stuff like that. And, you know, I'll probably do like a couple news videos, like what's been in the news lately or something that you know just really gets to me so this is Mr. Anderson 528 and I'll catch you guys later